Junkertown. Junkertown is. Junkertown is. Junkertown is. Dirty. It's crazy. Harsh. Chaotic. Unforgiving. Grungy. Organic. Lawless. Carnage. Beautiful. Awesome. Comic relief. Junkertown is the best thing ever. Three words. Junkertown is a really important area in Overwatch. After the Omnic Crisis, the Australian government was trying to make peace with the Omnic populations in Australia, and so they allow them to sort of have the land around the Australian Omnium. Unfortunately, that would displace the solar farmers and other people who were living out there, uh, which included one Mako Rutledge. You had this group that was sort of misplaced and then fought back against the Omnium, and not only fought back, but did it in whatever ragtag way they could. That ultimately resulted in the detonation of the Omnium. And what they've done is they've built on top of the wreckage. And what we're seeing now is that town. Nowadays, Junkertown is run by a lady called the Queen. She has a really interesting backstory. There is a place called the Scrapyard where they watch gladiatorial combat of people driving mechs, people fighting each other, people fighting Omnics, and that is where the queen came from. She was a really charismatic and skilled fighter. The queen is the boss, and all of the junkers have to be very cautious about what they do in terms of the queen. Why did Junkrat and Roadhog go on that worldwide ice spree? There's two things that solve every problem, money, and explosives. <laughs> they wanted to try and buy their way into the Queen's good graces. You can see a lot of that as we escort the payload, which has all the treasures that they've collected across their journeys, and also has a little special surprise for the people who kicked them out of Junkertown. <laughs> Once we saw Junkertown and we knew Junkrat and Roadhog as characters, we knew that we had to relay that in the sounds. So you'll find a lot of dirty, grungy things that sound loose and broken. We used a lot of levers and pulleys and chains and just old things that are rusty that you'd get tetanus from. We went up to this really old ghost town and it was so silent there that we were able to get all these little intricate sounds, like even flies landing on the microphone you're able to hear. There's this really cool hand crank that we pitched down a little bit and then some chain pulleys that go with it. And that's the main basis of the payload that you'll hear as it moves through the streets. So in Junkertown, it's obviously a escort map, and there are some interesting new wrinkles to the formula that we throw on this map. We start in the outskirts of Junkertown at Roadhog's farm. There's a lot of sheet metal and things plastered onto walls to make it feel livable. I feel like the abandoned farm is kind of a nice grounded area of the map. And as you move through this level, you slowly get into this kind of more sci-fi high fantasy parts of the level. The next section I think is my favorite section, which is Junkertown proper. You get to see what life is like in Junkertown. They've got their shops and they've got their tattoos and they've got their car mechanic shops. You've got your wacky bar that's actually in the sewer pipe, which just makes you ask a lot of questions. And then finally we get to the scrapyard where the great battles happen. Powerful champions have come through the ranks and have seized power and fame and glory in Junkertown. And it's gonna create a lot of interesting scenarios. You've got the turbine, which is the big fan that's spinning above. And so players can stand on this thing while it rotates. You can put turrets on top of it. But you've also got a pass through that sort of shortcuts either from the attackers straight to the final point or from the defenders to the earlier choke in the space. And we feel like this is gonna add a really interesting gameplay dynamic. We didn't want Junkertown to just be this hopeless, desolate, impossible place to survive. So we really tried to fulfill that post-apocalyptic fantasy, but also have a certain element to it where you're like, oh, you know what, I would actually eat at that restaurant. We get so much opportunity to focus the story on Overwatch and Talon, but we don't get a lot of opportunity to explore some of these other groups. And I hope that Junkertown is the tip of the iceberg for what's more to come for Junkrat, Roadhog, the Queen, and the Junkers as a whole. Da, 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 da. Oh.